Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about fractional distillation. Here's a picture of the crust of the earth. This picture shows crude oil, which is a mixture of hydrocarbons being extracted from the crust of the earth. This is an oil rig, a big machine in the middle of the ocean that helps to extract crude oil. Then it's transported to land on these big ships where the crude oil can be refined and used. However, a quick side point, sometimes these ships can spill oil into the ocean. And this can be dangerous to organisms living in the ocean. However, if it makes its way safely to land, it then gets separated so that we can have fuel for different purposes. So crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons. Now hydrocarbons are molecules that only contain carbon and hydrogen. So here we have a mixture of different hydrocarbons. As we can see, some of them are quite long and some are short. Our goal in fractional distillation is to separate the different types of hydrocarbons. And the main property that we're going to use about them is their boiling points. Long hydrocarbons have the highest boiling point because they have lots of intermolecular forces. However, short ones have the lowest boiling point because they have less intermolecular forces. Here we have a fractional column. We're going to put the crude oil, which is the mixture of hydrocarbons in, and heat it until it gets vaporized. The vapors will then go into the fractional column and start to move upwards. Now the fractional column is much more hotter at the bottom and it's cooler at the top. So the hydrocarbon vapors will rise and condense at different points. Shorter ones, because they have lower boiling point, will condense near the top where it's cooler. And longer hydrocarbons with high boiling points will condense near the bottom. Now we've separated the mixture of hydrocarbons into different fractions. These fractions can be used for different purposes, such as cooking gas or fuel for cars, planes and trains. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.